Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here with Missy. You can turn the image over and see her as she's shaking about. And today, um, I'm actually in the middle of a camping trip that my wife and I have planned. And this is actually our shorter camping trip. And I decided I'm not going to do any of the recording of camping. But I do want to come out on a hike and show a new trail system. This is the Scuppernog trail system. Okay, it's kind of like the John Muir or Emma Carlin systems, which we've pretty much already done. So you can turn your image and you can see the uh, map in front of me. As you can see, there are trails going all over the place. Now my thinking is that we're down here, okay? And we're gonna do the red loop. It's only about 2.3 miles long, um, but then you got this little loop thing up here. It says overlook, we're gonna do that. That's another half mile. And then down at the bottom down here is uh, the DJ Mackey uh, picnic area. And we're gonna go check that out as well. So we're gonna do probably about a total of three miles today. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They actually give you little rake scoops to pick up your pet waste. How nice is that? I mean, I brought my own, that's, but that's nice. And then uh, looky here, over on this side, there's a couple of uh, things hanging there and those are for um, trekking poles. Then over here, it looks like somebody lost a glove. And then down here, they have poop bags. And of course, they give you a uh, garbage can to put your dog poo into. Nice. They've thought about it. <laughs> okay. Right off the get-go, I am seeing that the trail is very sandy. Which is quite normal when you get uh, kind of northward into Wisconsin. The soil gets very sandy. I'm looking at the post here. And I'm seeing a red arrow going that way. Well, does that mean I go down this direction? Or does it mean that I go up there? Well, I see a red uh, marker on the post up there. So let's go up there. Now these trail segments, or these trail systems, I should say, here in the Kettle Moraine State Park system, um, don't do the... Uh, hill and terrain difficulty ratings like they do with the Ice Age Trail. And I'm going to stop right now because I've got a couple of people walking towards me. All right, so I just talked to those nice ladies back there and they wanted to meet Missy. Seems like a lot of people do. <laughs> She's just got that uh, friendliness about her. People want to meet the dog. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I was talking about the trail a little bit and that... Uh, it seems kind of sandy, which is normal to see up and around this area. And the descriptions on trail difficulties and stuff like that, they basically just give a beginner, intermediate, hard, and like more like a, a harder or a hard difficulty or something like that. Well, anyway, this red loop, and in fact, I think every loop in this Scuppernong trail system is rated intermediate. Except for the uh, overlook, that is a uh, beginner. So I take it that once we get to the overlook, it'll be on top of a hill and be fairly flat. But <laughs> we have to walk halfway around just to get to that loop. <laughs> Missy, with me. You're beginning to pull. And as I was trying to figure out what trail system to do and what loop to take, they said that there are steep hills here. And I just went over one. 
But uh, yeah, again, that's what this area is known for. We are going to be going up and down a lot of 10, 20, 30 foot hills. There might be a couple more here and there that are bigger. But yeah, <laughs> this area is just full of these type of hills. So this camping trip that we have been on, I'm going to get up over this hill real quick. Oh, looky there, you got a bench right over there. That's nice. So this camping trip that we've been on has been part of a uh, birthday present for me. Normally we go out and do vacation trips for Jen's birthday. And we really don't do much for mine. Might go out to eat or something like that and that's about it. And it's early in the season, but it's like, I want to go camping. We got the camper, we got heaters and stuff like that. So let's go. And so, yeah, I'm actually camping over my birthday weekend. And <laughs> I tell you, it has been cold. We've been basically running our furnace non-stop you know just to stay warm during the day and especially at night you know, we drop it down to about 65 to 60 during the day at night we'll up it a little bit to more like 68 to 63 of course that's in fahrenheit <laughs> But so far, it's been a nice trip. Missy's met a lot of new dog friends and human friends. People are people are actually going by our campsite, like when I'm cooking or stoking the fire or something. And they'll actually want to come into the site and uh, meet Missy. They want to pet her. They want to meet her. <laughs> She's just that kind of dog, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Ooh, kind of rubbed my ankle there. <laughs> so yeah, hilly. I'm going up a pretty, uh, pretty big hill. Horses are allowed on this trail as well. I think there's cross-country skiing in the winter time, and. I'm not sure about bikes, but I think bikes are also allowed on this trail. I think. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, guys, I just came up that good size hill right there. Oh. It wasn't too bad when I first started, but man. It started getting pretty steep towards the top here. Whew. Now, the uh, red path is going that way. It was actually weird when I was coming up the, uh, up the hill. I could have swore I heard a, a guy's voice like right behind me. I thought I had a, another trail walker or maybe even a bicyclist coming up behind me turned around to see who was there and nobody that was weird i mean i literally thought i heard someone say hey there that was it <laughs> that's all i heard turned around nobody there all right guys i want you to uh flip the image around and look at the ground you see the rocks those look like river stones. I mean, look at this big rock right here. See how rounded that is? That's because these rocks were in a glacier for thousands of years, having the water rush over them and sand them down. 
So even though we're on top of a huge ridge, we are getting what looks to be an old river system with all these smooth polished stones. That's cool. That's why I like this stuff. And that's basically all these hills and ridges are around here. It's just piles and piles of these rocks that were basically carried from a glacier over thousands of years. All right, so here you go, guys. Got some little buds on this branch here. It is well into spring now. All the trees and bushes and stuff are all starting to bloom up, bud up. Next thing you know, these forests will be filled with green just everywhere. Okay, so as you notice, I have a backpack on. And it's different than the uh, regular black one that I use. And that's basically because I didn't pack a backpack for our camping trip. So I was like, man, it's kind of cool this morning. It's only about mid 40s. I don't know if I'm going to have to have a second jacket or not. And Jen's like, well, I packed the blue one if you want to use that. So that's what I did. I just grabbed, uh, sorry, just had a bug fly in my mouth. At least bounce off my lips. But anyway, <laughs> I uh, grabbed this blue backpack, threw my uh, blue zip-up hoodie into it, just in case I got out here and decided I needed an extra layer. These uh, hills are kind of getting to me a little bit, making me breathe a little harder. Of course, then since I'm talking, it takes wind out of me as well. So I feel like I really have to take deep breaths and stop my sentences more than I usually would. Oh, this might be our observation loop right here. Yes, yes it is. Cool. Now this observation loop is like a half mile long just from this point here, okay? I'm also hearing machinery going. So I don't know if someone's out here doing some forestry or something like that. I don't know. But I can definitely hear it. Man, they're doing something. <laughs> I'm just hearing wood and machinery and stuff. I have no idea what's going on. However, I will let you know that this observation loop is a lollipop so we just walked down the stem of the lollipop now we're getting to the intersection of the actual circle loop i'm going to go off this way and i'm assuming that there will be a cleared area where we'll have some sort of an overlook otherwise what's the point of having an observation loop <laughs> Oh, nice little hill to climb here. <laughs> I'm hoping that the observation will be right up here. Oh, sorry, you stepped on your leash. Oh. Not super horrible. If I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> Well, I was hoping that right up here would have been the uh, observation overlook, but nope, still forested. <laughs> All right. I think this is our observation area. There's a post and beam over here. I think that's for tying up your horses. Got a bench over here. Got that awesome looking tree. Dead and gone, but man, it's cool to look at but then there's a nice view right there oh could you imagine coming up here in the fall 
with all the uh, colors. That would be a cool view. Nice, nice, nice. You can see the uh, dark area on the ground. Those are the uh, shadows from the clouds up above. Okay, Missy, I hear you whining. Okay, let's get back on the trail. <laughs> she doesn't like to sit still for very long. You want to say hi to the people? Say hello. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> She's just like, come on. I want to move. I want to go. Let's go. Oh, look at this. This is the uh, intersection that we were just at not too long ago. So we are back on the stem of the observation loop lollipop. So get back out to our Red Blaze trail and keep going. All right, here we are back at our intersection. Now we came from the right over there. So even though it says red, go right, we're not going to. We're going to go left and we're going to keep going this direction. Now, I know that other trail systems like the Emma Carlin and the John Muir trail set, uh, systems, they actually have directionals as to which way walkers and bicyclists are supposed to go. I did not see anything posted here, but the three people that I've seen on the trail so far have all been going the opposite direction I am. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm technically going the wrong way and that I'm going the way the bicyclist should go, or if there is even a directional pattern to this trail. I really do not know, guys. Got another little intersection coming up here. Most likely we will go to our right. Uh, this is S7 intersection. And yep, I see the orange and red blaze to my right there. So I'm going to keep going that way. And green goes off that direction. Which is fine. The uh, machinery that you're hearing in the background is that way. So I don't want to go down there. Although I am very curious to know what the hell's going on because that's very loud. All right, here's a nice, fairly steep, rocky descent. So just be mindful of your footing. Don't roll your ankle on one of these rocks. <laughs> but again, look how round the rocks are here, guys. That's because water had been flowing over them for so so long all right that wasn't too horrible well i hope the uh image looks pretty good for you guys i bought a couple of uh lens protectors for these uh instant 360 cameras you know i figure with all the riding i do you know, it wouldn't take much for a stone to come flying up from under a car or a semi or something and chip and break the glass lenses to the camera. So I bought a polycarbonate protector that just uh, is adhered with tape, really. So I'm hoping that the... Uh, protector doesn't add too much distortion or reflection or glare or anything like that to the videos at least i hope <laughs> i know that the well this is rocky and steep here i know that the um the lenses already have a tendency for um, light flares. Oh, look at that. Got a puppy dog over there. Whew. 
All right, I'm seeing an orange blaze to my left, which means I think we're gonna go right. Let's double check the map just to find out. Okay, so the uh, gentleman that I was just talking to at the top of the hill over there, uh, he was saying that uh, he doesn't believe the mountain bikes are allowed on this trail. So there shouldn't be a directional as far as what's the right way and wrong way to go. So it just happenstance that I'm coming across more people going the opposite way than what I'm going. That's all. <laughs> and I can tell by this area down here, this is a forested area. You can see all the uh, shavings and stuff. So that's what I'm wondering is what all that machinery noise is there is um, people mowing down this these areas. That's kind of what I'm assuming. But I'm hoping that I should be coming up on that uh, DJ Mackey uh, picnic area. Hopefully that'll be coming up soon. All right, so yeah. I'm this is definitely some sort of a foresting project going on. You can see everything has been basically mowed down. Specific trees have been left, but yeah, this is definitely some sort of a logging or clearing of the land type thing. Kind of a, a rough way to do it. I mean, look at this stuff on my right. There's all those sticks and stuff. They're just all shredded. That's kind of why I'm thinking it's not logging, it's just land clearing. They're just renewing the, the topsoil, leaving bigger trees, but getting the undergrowth to, uh, to come up better. Because look at that, that's all just shredded. Wow. All right, now, here we are. <laughs> Got some uh, ice crimps there on the uh, bench there. <clears throat> all right, so we're at S2. So we are here. So, yeah, right there across the way is a sign for the DJ Mackey picnic area, which I want to go check out. This is the DJ Mackey picnic area. Looks like there's a couple of buildings here. Um, there's some benches over there around a the fire ring and a picnic table. And... Across the way there you see a lot more picnic tables um, looks like a uh, pit toilet I'm assuming it's a pit toilet not a flushable toilet and I'm sure you can maybe even rent a little cabin up there for a uh, uh, for an internal space stay out of the weather or something like that <laughs> and I'm seeing a uh, basketball hoop right up there towards the uh, top of the hill <laughs> all right nice all right let's go back get back on our red loop and finish off our trail all right here we are back out onto our loop segments and we are going to turn go up to our left I'm sure I'm going to have to go up and over a couple of the hills that I was seeing over on the uh, picnic area access trail. I can actually still see the green grass to the picnic area through the trees. I have a feeling I gotta go up and over one or two of these hills. Yeah, that's one right there in front of me. I think I gotta go up and over that. Well, it looks like I get lucky and I don't have to go up and over that big hill. I'm just kind of going right between this one and that little one right there. So if this is your first time to my channel, I do want to thank you for stopping by and watching and to tell you that this is what I do. My channel name is Chef Hiker Biker, and those are the three things I really enjoy and the three topics I cover 
on my channel. I am not a one pony show. I like doing three different things. Those are the main loves of my life is cooking, hiking, and riding my motorcycle. I love trying new food, trying new recipes. So if you guys have a good recipe that you enjoy cooking at home, send that recipe to me. Let me make it. I want to try, try it. You know, I want to try new flavors and stuff. I love getting out on hikes with or without Missy. It does not matter. <laughs> I know you guys like seeing her though. So I try to bring her as often as I can. I love backpacking, staying overnight in a tent. And I like just regular camping, car camping. We got the new trailer and that's what we're using this week. We're staying in our trailer in a campground. We prefer the state campgrounds over privately owned items like KOA. Those are just too commercialized for us. You know, if we wanted to stay in a place like that, we would just stay in a hotel. And of course I like, I like motorcycles. I like riding. My thought on riding is I like to be on the road, not sitting in a bar. You know, I've met people that when they go out riding, they ride for 20 minutes, they stop at a bar for about two hours, and then they ride home for 20 minutes. And they consider that riding. Nope, they have it backwards. <laughs> I'll ride for the two hours, I'll stop somewhere to eat my lunch or a dinner and do that for about 20, 30 minutes and then spend another two hours riding home. <laughs> that to me is riding. I enjoy working on my own bike, although I am not a mechanic. I do have some life experiences to figure out how to do stuff. And if you guys have any questions, I encourage you to ask. And yeah, that's what my channel is, guys. I am not an influencer channel. I am not here to tell you about products and tell you if I think they're any good or not. I am here to simply encourage you guys to get out for your adventure, try new food, Go for that hike, go for that ride. That's what I'm here for. And I hope you guys get inspired by my videos. Ooh, that's a steep hill. That's a steep hill going down, holy cow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you guys away until I make it down this little hill. These rounded rocks make it uh, hard to go. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys like my channel, you know what to do. You can subscribe if you'd like. Hit the like button if you'd like. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. I really don't care. It still helps the channel. But if you're looking for a channel that is more of an encouragement channel and not a commercial channel where they're constantly throwing products at you and reviews and installations and all that other stuff. Trying to sell memberships, trying to sell you patches and stickers and hats and t-shirts. If you're tired of all that, like I am, maybe my channel is for you. You might not like everything I do, but if you're watching this, I would say that something brought you here. Looks like I'm going to go down into a valley and come back up on the other side. Look at all these pine cones gathered in the center. Oh, I tell you, I'm glad I came out here. My wife actually encouraged me to come out today. 
I've been just enjoying sitting around camp with her, with Missy, talking, watching movies, just stuff like that, just relaxing. And uh, I actually looked at her and it's like, you know, I brought my camera, but I really don't know if I want to record anything. You know, I'm just enjoying my time sitting here. And she's like, no, you need to go out, you need to go for a hike. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, check that out. All these tall pines, all in a straight row. That's how you know it's a man-made forest. Trees do not grow in a straight row like this. <laughs> but yeah, John was like, no, you got to go. You got to take the dog with you and get out there and, and have some fun. So I listened to my wife and I came out here. And I'm glad I did. Wasn't a super long hike. But the hills did make it pretty difficult, but I still enjoyed it. It was awesome. So thank you to my wife for the encouragement on kicking me out of the campground. <laughs> I appreciate it. And if you guys want to experience these trails on your own, this is the Scuppernong Trail System in the Southern Kettle Moraine Unit. All right, there's the parking lot. You can see it clearly through the trees there. So I am going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. And always believe, heart, soul, mind, body, that you can go out, have your adventure, try that new food dish, enjoy life. Bye, guys. <laughs>